And so his fifth career start, all of them, has come as the home team. Vandy has sat back since its 4-3 win over Georgia Tech yesterday. And promptly misses with his fifth pitch. It's bullpen. 0-1 pitch. There goes Bradfield. Throw from Parada into center field. And Bradfield keeps on chugging on to third. Will this be deep enough? Reed has momentum coming in. Bradfield tags and the throw is offline. Wouldn't have beaten him to the plate anyway. Two batters in, one nothing Vanderbilt. This team coming into the NCAA tournament. Takes a 3-2 upstairs. Ball four. What's coming? But not even something he wanted to offer at. Pitch number nine, and the bases are full. That's on the ground, and into right field, a base hit. Parada scores, Compton on his tail. And needing a strike, Riley with the pitch to Justin Henry Malloy, the former Vandy boy. Advantage over Georgia Tech, can they limit the damage in the first? Reed zips that to center field. It drops down in front of Bradfield. The third run of the inning scores as Jenkins touches home. Georgia Tech's offense has continued to surge in its second game of the day. That should end the inning. The underhand toss does it. He struck out Gonzalez in the first. And this time Gonzalez with a liner over to first. Keegan. Headlong, a Superman dive, leaves it on the mound. And Bradfield is on again. And it's one pitch. He takes second, uncontested. There he goes. And they do throw to third, but they don't get him. Oh, perfect throw, too. Go back to it. Breaking ball. It's a 3-2 game. Bradfield's in. Keegan going for two. He stops there. RBI double after a masterful at bat from Keegan to get the pitch he wanted on 3-2. Oh, that was just too juicy for him to lay off of. Final combined scores, by the way. We, we ran through them in two last night. 50 to 5. That's given a ride out to deep right center field, and it's gone. Troy Lanie with his sixth home run of the year ties this game at three in the top of the fourth. Oh, my. <laughs> that ball went over the bleachers out there. In center right. <laughs> oh, in a long way. Gets it elevated. He throws. He could be a force. 3-2 takes a zip line through the middle. Nolan dropping down to get a base hit. Dart Nicky brings the 3-2. The dart is at the feet of Gonzalez. 2-2 to Bradfield, whipped down the left field line. That's trouble for Georgia Tech. Nolan in to score. Vanderbilt has taken the lead. A green light for Gonzalez. And it's 5-3, Vandy. Bradfield at the top of this lineup has been a force to be reckoned with tonight. And on the pitch, Bradfield to third. To third. If you push it in the right spot out there, you get you knocked. Comes back. What makes you strive? That's what makes you want to compete. Certainly not at the Astro Dome. Seven straight out of the zone and eight out of the last nine. Leneve through right side, base hit. Keegan around third. Vanderbilt is doubling up Georgia Tech, six to three. 
And now the third plate appearance for Isaiah Thomas. And he comes in swinging, turns around a 97 mile an hour fastball for an RBI single. Vandy seven, Georgia Tech three. Who are gonna get called upon becomes. Oh boy, that took a bounce up off the mask of Parada. And the three two in the air. Reed and Hall converge on it. It's Reed underneath. And his throw to the plate. It's a double play. Leneve not speedy enough to get Vandy's eighth. 0-2. Oh, and Gonzalez is down on strikes for the second time tonight. Hanging breaking ball. A long way out to right and into the bleachers. Luke Waddell with his second home run of the weekend. Has his first hit of the night. And gives Georgia Tech a little spark of life here in the last of the fifth inning. Making it 7-4. to four. They've got a little spark on defense. Stephen Reed threw the runner out at home with the double play. We were able to get out of that inning with only two. But this breaking ball stays right up for Luke Waddell. It's a short. The second among 44 batters against starting pitching for Vandy to see fewer than three pitches. And that on the third pitch there from Compton. The 2-2 two -two in the air right field. And it's Thomas on the run. The ball drops to the turf. A race to the plate. And Compton makes it 7-5. to five. Thomas was there. The inning would have been over. And now there's some more life for the Yellow Jackets. They get their second run of the fifth. Upstairs to Malloy with a fastball. Reed takes that pitch, drives it high and deep out to right field. And Stephen Reed with a three-run homer vaults the Yellow Jackets back in top. 8-7 Georgia Tech. That's some pretty good power right there by Stephen Reed. Got a slider from Chris McElvain. Gets all of it. Carries all the way over the wall. See frustration out there by Isaiah Thomas. But Another 3-2 and Gonzalez it beyond the center field wall. Tie game at eight. There haven't been too many cheap home runs <laughs> in this regional. This ball here, again, off into the darkness, off into the night. A 3-2 fastball, good extension. This ball is way out of here. The pitch in the air, left field. Keegan sends it into the bleachers. Vanderbilt's second eighth inning home run, and this one gives the Vandy boys a 9-8 lead. Keegan. Third home run in this regional. This one here, he goes down and gets some. Breaking ball. Actually out just out over the plate. On the no two count. Got all of it. Does the freshman have another? Oh one. Vaz is back at the wall and he does have one more Drew Compton his fourth regional home run 
and we're tied at nine in the bottom of the ninth. All you gotta do is make some solid contact off Luke Donald. Short porch out there in left field. The ball just keeps carrying, keeps carrying. Vaz runs out of room. Sails over the wall. The fourth. High hopper, shortstop. And nine innings cannot contain Vanderbilt and Georgia Tech. And it's a four-pitch walk with one out. In a regional for Vandy. 2-1 pitch on the ground a second. They've got to be quick to turn two, and they are. Murphy looks for a put away, and his 3-2 is laced into right field, directly into the path of Thomas. 10 Eastern time tonight. 3-2 goes off of Siegel's shoe. He's slow to get up, and the throw to first is not in time. Bulger with a bullet back up the box. And the first two reach base for Vanderbilt in the 11th inning. So they're full. Strike three on the outside corner. Disbelief as Georgia Tech gets its first out. Crawford with a 3-2. Swing and a drive deep down the left field line. Thomas. Oh, the biggest moment, the biggest swing, and a grand slam for Isaiah Thomas. And it breaks an extra innings tie. Vandy 13, Georgia Tech 9. It was high enough. It was far enough. Matter again, if it was going to stay fair, it did. Huge pick me up inside fastball. Able to get to it, keep it fair. He's watching it. It does stay fair, and it's a grand slam. Four runs in on one swing of the bat. In the bottom of the 11th inning. And maybe more as Young deposits that into the corner. Off the wall and stands in at second base. Three in the fourth, two in the fifth. And then Georgia Tech five in the bottom of the fifth. Vandy here in the 11th matches that nickel on the scoreboard. Gonzalez plates another. Young crosses home, and it's 14 to 9. Ball four. They'll be down at least five. Two, two, two on, two out. And a high chopper to third. Malloy with his throw to first. Picked out by Jenkins. Payoff pitch. Yep. A knee. A calf. Oh. He's grabbing his leg now. And he is not in good shape right there. Put the hand initially on the front of the leg and then momentarily grasped the back of the leg as well. Valiant fight from the Jackets. And they still got some more as that 3-1 pitch is out deep to left field and gone. 14 to 11. Parada with his second postseason home run. Ninth of the year. And the runs don't stop coming Sunday into Monday in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, I got all that one. <laughs> and it's ball four. Vandy, bottom of the 11th inning. They're one out away from the Super Regionals. And Maldonado's pitch is flied to right field. Five hours and change after this epic began. It finishes with Vanderbilt 
on to Supers for the fourth straight postseason.